Hi, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer, and today we have the ARV insulated cover or transit bag for your ARV electric coolers. We're going to take a look at some of its features, why you would be getting an insulated bag, and I'll also show you how to get it all set up. So why would you get a insulator bag? Well, this is something to help your cooler keep doing its job. It's an upgrade to your current system. So with your cooler insulated, you don't have the sun beating down, meaning it can keep whatever's inside cooler for longer, but it also protects the finish of your cooler. So scuffs, scratches, dents, and scrapes. That's what this bag is for. The bag feels very well made. I really like the material for the outside. I think it looks great, especially with our cooler, but we also have extra functions and features here. We have our side storage pocket where you can put your other accessories um, or if you want to put your little tools and utensils. If you flip the cover over, you'll see that there's a reflective material on the inside. So throughout different parts of the cooler, you'll have the outside canvas, the inside reflective lining, but you'll also have a bit of cushion adding to that insulating factor. You'll see that extra layer of cushion along our more common touch points. So like the bottom of the cooler, the top of the cooler, and along the sides. Where you won't see that extra cushion though is towards the back. And that's because we have our ventilation mesh. So right where the vents are on your cooler, you're gonna have this mesh material and that way everything functions as it does even with the bag on there. From the cutouts to the well-located mesh to being able to plug this in, you still maintain all the functionality of your current cooler. We have this mounted to our fridge slide and we still have access to our drain plug as well as the feet underneath. Everything is still there, plus you have the extra features of the insulation bag. So make sure to get the bag that is custom fit for your cooler. As for how much it actually insulates or cushions the cooler, that is something that's more or varied on where you are. So from my personal experience with coolers, I've noticed that when they are outside, the sun is beating down, or if they're inside a very hot vehicle, this is gonna draw a lot more power because it has to work more to keep whatever's inside cold. Having this insulation keeps all that heat inside or keeps heat from penetrating the freezer fridge, which helps out with the overall function. So this is what it looks like when it's off of the cooler. And you can see how it's very custom fit. We have cutouts throughout the whole thing for everything to fit through. So getting this onto your cooler is simply a matter of grabbing your cooler and then putting it onto the bag. Now you usually do this on the ground, but I have this on the slide. It's just to really drive home the point that it works with your fridge slide. So let's get this out of the way, put this down and lift the cooler. If you set the cooler in the center, it's simply a matter of lifting the cooler bag up and around the corners. Now while this is on here, you can see that our hook and loop patches have their counterparts. There is adhesive in the back, so you're supposed to remove our protective layer, and then that way you can adhere one side of the patch to the cooler. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm not gonna do that, but that's gonna the concept of how you get this fully set up. To get the corners to fit super secure, we have metal tags on every corner. So for the back, they're gonna go into the handle. For the front, they're gonna go on this side by the control display. So this is gonna fit into that recess. You are gonna have to like lift up on the cover and then push that into that crack. It does require some effort there. But once that's in place, you can then continue the rest of your bag cover install. So this just involves pulling tight on the sides of the cover as you get that hook and loop in place. So do this for all four corners. To get the lid cover on, open the lid, get the cover, and notice how we're going to slide 
our strap through, just like that. So see how the reflective side of the lid cover is facing up. We're gonna bring the entire cover through and that way we can just flip this over and then get our PVC strip. So this is gonna fit around the front edges of our lid. And that way this pulls secure on those corners while still creating that seal underneath that lid. Getting those metal tags in place is gonna be the trickiest part of this whole process, as well as getting the adhesive patches onto your cooler. But once that's all in place, you can leave this bag around your cooler. You don't have to take it on and off. That's the perks of having a custom fit liner. So that's it for your setup. Overall impressions of our insulation bag is, the insulating bag is not something necessary for your fridge freezer to work, but it is really nice to have. These can get pretty pricey. So if you wanna protect your investment and make sure it lasts longer and you're not using as much power while using it, then getting the insulator is very helpful. It's also a transit bag. So if you're the type of person that doesn't keep it mounted to a fridge slide, but you're carrying it and hauling it around, this makes this especially helpful to protecting the overall casing of your fridge freezer. This is a custom fit item, so it is available in different sizes that match specific ARV coolers. If you use our website, we'll match you to the correct fit for you. This right here was a look at the ARV insulation bag or transit bag for your ARV fridge freezer coolers. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.